Do you think it would feel worse to watch your grandmother or a supervillain drown? Spoilers, you are a terrible grandchild. Anthony here for D News, and if you did some serious self-appraisal, you'd probably think you'd be hurt by watching your friends suffer, and you'd get a little bit of guilty pleasure out of watching your enemies in pain. But in another insane case of faulty evolutionary wiring, it actually hurts you more to watch a bad guy suffer than someone you care about. There are three parts of your brain that are known to activate when you watch someone suffering. The insula cortex, the anterior cingulate cortex, and the somatosensory cortices. And scientists call it the pain matrix which is a great name for a band. We thought those bits were tied specifically to empathy, but a new study by the University of Southern California showed that those areas of people's brains reacted more intensely when they watched videos of hateful, nasty people in pain than when they watched kind, tolerant people in the same situations. So the pain matrix isn't just involved with empathy, it's involved with processing pain in general. So why do we feel the pain of nightmare people more than our friends? It's all about survival. Our brain monitors enemies more closely than our friends. People who are a threat need to be watched, and knowing that they're weakened or potentially angry and irrational is valuable information. Oh brain, I know you've been hurt before, but that was in the past. We're safe now. Let the walls down and let the people you care about in. Don't worry though, we are not all self-serving paranoia. We feel very strongly when our friends are hurt but in a different way. We've got these areas of the brain that are specifically for threat response. The anterior bit of the insula cortex is still involved, along with a bit called the putamen and the supramarginal gyrus. They light up with activity when we perceive a danger to ourselves. And a University of Virginia study showed that they also light up in exactly the same way when we see a close friend in danger. We see that person almost literally as a part of us. If they're in trouble, we're in trouble. So two different sides of the same reaction. We're seeing someone in pain and we're feeling it too, but one is empathizing and the other one is analyzing. Even though our reaction to the bad guy is stronger, it seems like we do empathize more strongly with our friends. I'm sorry I doubted you, Brain. Maybe I'm part of the reason you're so defensive. I get empathy pain, by the way, at the drop of a hat. I can't even watch someone get hurt on television without feeling it. What about you guys? Let me know down below and subscribe for more D News.